So let's now see how to create the little synth sequence in the opening of Shaka Khan's Ain't Nobody. This was a request by Ian Sunderland, so I hope you like this. So let's first reset the Mother 32. I have selected a sawtooth shape here, mixes all the way to the VCO, cutoff is completely open, resonance all the way down, VCA mode switch to the envelope generator, volume up, no VCF modulation, no VCO modulation here, and for the amp envelope, attack all the way down, sustain on, and DK at about the halfway mark. We won't be using the VC mix. Okay, so let's first create the sequence. So when you hold down the pattern button, you can select any of the patterns you want to record to. I'm going to select number two, but I'm going to clear it out first. So shift reset pattern, we'll reset the pattern. So you just hear that one repeating note because the pattern is empty. Now, as you may already know, you can record in your sequence in the keyboard mode or the step mode. I've been using the step mode in previous videos, but this time let's select the keyboard mode. So shift left arrow will enable the keyboard mode. Now when you want to record in this mode, just hold down shift record. But before we do that, let's figure out the first note in the sequence. Go down to the third octave. And this E flat is going to be our first note. Now we can start recording. Shift record. You can see the first step is blinking. This LED is lit yellow as well, letting you know that we're in record mode. So now we can enter that first note. The next note's this B flat. We've entered that in. Now go up an octave and play this D flat. And the next note is the E flat here. We're going to repeat that note, so hit E flat again. And then B flat here. Octave above. D flat. E flat. We've entered eight notes so far, but there are actually nine notes in this sequence. So let's go one more octave above and play the E flat. So we are on page two here for the last note of the sequence. Hit stop to stop recording and hit run to start the sequence. Okay, so that's our sequence. Now let's create the sound. I'm gonna go for a pulse shape and I'm gonna bring the pulse width down just a wee bit, approximately the 11 o'clock position. I'll bring the cutoff all the way down and use the envelope generator to modulate the cutoff. Bring that depth up. That right there is the key element to the sound. Maybe I'll open that cutoff just a little bit. I'm going to switch the sustain off and bring the DK up so we hear a bit more of that tail. We're pretty close to the sound. Let's speed up the sequence. I think somewhere over there seems to be the appropriate tempo. Now if you don't like those clicks that you're hearing in the sound, you can always add just a wee bit of attack to clear that up. One last thing we can do to the sound to make it a bit more dynamic is take the keyboard CV output and plug that into the VCF cutoff. So lower notes are a bit more mellow and higher notes a bit more bright. From this point onwards, you can just fine tune the cutoff control, the VCF modulation depth, You can choose a sawtooth shape, but sounds pretty close as well. But I find that the pulse shape with the pulse width slightly to the left, which adds in a bit more of even harmonics to this odd harmonics rich sound, is a lot closer to the original. You can choose to have the sustain on, but you don't get a nice decay on each note. So I prefer having the sustain off and just bumping up the DK dial there. Okay, now you can save this pattern by holding down shift run stop for about a second. The LED there starts blinking, hold shift run stop one more time, and now the pattern has been saved. So there you go, that's a little intro sequence from Shaka Khan's Ain't Nobody.